guys, my name is Sorrel and I'm a media and drama student here at DMU. So today I thought I would do a video about how I'm managing to study and look after my well-being also while social distancing. But I thought it might be useful just to give a few tips uh, in sort of staying on top of your uni work and just sort of looking after yourself. Also I just want to say that a lot of people in this time are saying, you know, use this as an opportunity but if you haven't got a really strict routine and you're not reading loads and doing loads of cool hobbies, doesn't mean that you're failing at all. Uh, but the things in this video are just things that I find help me and allow me to keep on top of my studies. So basically this routine that I'm about to take you through is just sort of what I feel like keeps me sane keeps me happy, keeps me working. Yeah, so enjoy. So I was never a morning person before all of this started, but I have found out through social distancing that I really enjoy getting up in the morning. So I have been getting up quite early in the morning, like at least that's early for me, about like 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. First thing I do is go to the kitchen, make a coffee, maybe get some breakfast. And then I sort of sit in bed with my coffee and probably like go on my laptop, check my uni emails, get ready for the day really, sort of mentally prepare myself for the day whilst drinking coffee in bed. Uh, and then I probably go for a shower. I've also found that actually putting on an outfit each day instead of staying in my pyjamas and my joggers and stuff, I don't know why, but putting in that effort makes me feel better, like makes me feel like I'm, I've got more structure to my days. I don't really know. Obviously, if you stay in your pyjamas every day, that's fine, you can do that. But just for me, I feel a bit better putting on an outfit every day. And about this time is probably when I might have a morning lecture I did on the day that I was filming this so obviously everything has been moved to online um, so I just sort of set my laptop at my desk try not to sit in bed all day it can be very tempting to just sort of watch your lecture online in bed but I find that I work a bit better if I'm sat at my desk and then after that I probably just continue doing a bit of work uh, I've been planning out some assignments maybe around that time is probably when I then go get lunch do a bit more work I do find though when it starts to hit the late afternoon like three or four o'clock is when I really don't feel as productive so I'll do a bit more if I can and then around this time is where I probably exercise yeah I've just been doing a uh, little home workouts there's loads of stuff online normally before dinner I also watch the BBC sort of coronavirus news special because I try not to consume too much of it on social media because I think that can make people quite anxious I find that that's the best way for me at least to get all the information that I feel like matters and that I need and then after that is normally when I face up some friends or family again it's a nice way of keeping a bit of structure to your day but also of course we're not seeing our friends at the moment so it is important to check in with them uh, yeah and I normally do this whilst making dinner uh, and then after dinner there's basically like a few things that I would go to do so I would either paint a little bit I am definitely not a good painter but it's just something that I've tried to get into because um, I've got loads of like canvases and paintbrushes and paints lying about. I've been reading more, I've luckily got books on my shelf that I haven't fully or read at all yet or sometimes I just sit in bed and watch Netflix or any sort of form of TV really. I've really been enjoying uh, The Stranger on Netflix at the moment so I really recommend that. So that is everything in a day of social distancing for me. I hope it gave you some ideas or something that you could do yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're all well and I will see you next time. Bye!